And another fun feature is this uh, random fire hose. This lovely bathroom features carpeted floors. Coming out of that bathroom is the downstairs extra bedroom. We call this the dungeon. Hello friends, we have finally made it to me sharing an empty, mostly empty, house tour with all of you guys. Um, Christian has Maddie out in the backyard, they're exploring. We have a nice sloping backyard, but a big backyard nonetheless, and uh, I have some time to myself to share the house with you guys, and probably a lot of our plans. We know our renovation plans will change as we get into this process and start like actually figuring out what we can and can't do to this house, but I will share what our like rough going into the house today plans are. So we have our lovely front door here, some nice, nice tiles. And then when you're standing right by the front door, you open up into a hallway to the kitchen or the bedrooms. And the other side of this uh, hall closet situation is the main living space. Also, I should mention this home was built in, I think, 1965-ish, and it's very, very original to that. So it's, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work, but there's a lot of potential in this home. So just be prepared that everything is very original to the 60s in this house. Probably some updates here or there, but a lot of love is gonna go into this home. So living space, we have carpets. There are hardwoods underneath this, so we wanna rip these up. These don't look to be in as good of shape as the bedrooms are, so we wanna, I don't know if we're gonna cut this up soon or later, but eventually pull all this up, refinish the hardwoods. We do want to take down this section of the wall right here. This is just a storage closet. And when you're looking at it from this angle, it wouldn't be so much more open. Like I had put an entryway table right here. We just think it would be a lot brighter and let more light through the house if we eliminated this. I'm also pretty sure this is not structural. So that should be a relatively easy project. Um, we are playing with the idea of losing the fireplace. It's just very uh, original to the 60s. We don't know if it's structural or not. That's a question for an engineer. If we do keep the fireplace though, we are gonna pull off all of the wood paneling. Hopefully we're gonna have brick all the way up to the ceiling and then refinish like the hearth, the mantle. That's not the mantle. I think this is called the hearth. Refinish this as like a matching brick so it looks a little more cohesive. Then we've got some big front windows. A lot of the windows need to be upgraded to newer windows. They're kind of old and outdated. We have a piano that came with the home. Um, I think we're gonna keep it if we have enough room for all of our furniture. We don't know if we will, but uh, it would be a nice touch to keep in the house. More of that lovely wood paneling. We'd love to take this down. I think for right now though, this whole wall wood paneling and then this like a uh, chair wheel, like half of the wall being wood paneling, we're just gonna paint it. We think paint will do a lot to make this house feel more like ours, a lot cleaner, just a little bit more like not somebody else's home if we just slap some paint on it and deal with like the actual like removal process later. So that's our plan tentatively is like this weekend we wanna start painting that. So the living room kind of is this nice L shape. This is probably meant to be a dining space. They had a fan up here, so maybe they had this as more of a living room continuation. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think ultimately the kitchen's right through here. I think we might expand the kitchen over into this nook, maybe. We will see. We also wanna make some of these windows larger, replace them, bring more natural light into the room. So there's a lot of possibilities we can do with this space. I think until we get into like actual deep remodeling though, we will just put our little round kitchen table in here. It has four chairs and we'll do most of our dining right there. Don't love it being on carpet. Oh, but we'll have removed that and have hardwoods beneath it. Now, right off the little kitchen area, you have this walkway with a nice pocket door. If I could open it. There's a pocket door that closes this space off and leads you into, oh gosh, into the kitchen. Here's the view of that other wall. I also don't think this wall is structural, so just to continue the like theme of opening it up, allowing more light to go through, I think we ultimately wanna remove this whole situation here. We want this to just open up straight up. Oh, hello, teeny tiny. We want this to open straight up into that room at least. And then we have our kitchen. I'm pretty confident the previous owners built this themselves, or at least the cabinetry, but we have the original oven. Still works great. We have a stove top, a range, Christian McPhail, uh, this super sick sink that has a like runoff for into the sink, all kinds of different things, a dishwasher. Okay, our special guests just left. They're gonna go down to the basement and keep playing, but our refrigerator just got installed. It's a counter depth refrigerator, so it's supposed to be a little more flush. You like don't see the edges of it. It actually fits perfectly 
where the previous owners used to have their fridge. And then you have another little dining nook. So we could also put our round table in this area. It's a little bit of a smaller area. And I guess ultimately we'd love like the kitchen maybe to keep starting here, but then expand all the way down. And then if we can open, the other side of this wall is where the fireplace is located. So like the dream would be to, if we could have the fireplace removed, have a big island right here that overlooks into the up front half of the room. So you have more like living, eating, all cohesive open floor plan. We don't think that's possible though. So I think we'll just keep the kitchen walls here, open up this wall and then continue the cabinets and stuff down into this room and maybe put an island in this area. I don't know, still working on that project. But we have a bunch of built-ins here, shelves. I think this was like a shoe cabinet or a spice cabinet. Gosh. Whatever that was supposed to be. These are the pantry. Needs a good scrubbing and cleaning, but it'll work now. I think ultimately we would rather have like an accordion door here if we're gonna put the pantry here. So we will see what we end up using this space for or like how we'd even convert it into that kind of space. So there's the kitchen and the pantries. And another fun feature is this uh, random fire hose. Uh, fire safety is very serious here, I guess. I don't think we're gonna keep this. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna take it apart safely, but I think we would much rather just uh, eliminate this situation. So coming in from the kitchen, you have this large, large, large hall closet. Like I was saying, I think we wanna open all of this up. We don't think this piece right here is structural. So opening this up, you would be able to see straight back into the living space at this point. And now walking this way, we go to all of our bedrooms. There is a basement down there. We'll get there in a little bit. We also have a snazzy hall closet, linen closet situation right here next to our hall bath. And this lovely bathroom features carpeted floors. Round of applause for carpets and bathrooms. <laughs> it's really gross. Um, I don't really like this bathroom at all. I'm terrified of using it. It's an older toilet. Like it's not just my camera being yellow, like this toilet and this tub and the sink are just straight up yellow. So this is definitely something we're just gonna completely gut. First thing we're definitely doing is removing these floors. We actually know that there's tile beneath this. So we're gonna just paint the tile beneath it to make it clean and fresh and new. We're also getting a new toilet in today. And then we're also going to be painting this bathtub. So just like a bunch of things to make it a little more livable. For now, you'll see why we wanna do that for this bathroom primarily. Um, hint, hint, it's cause it's the biggest and best bathroom in the house right now, even though there is a bastard bathroom. That one's also fun. But we'll say bye bye to this bathroom for now. Right across the hall is the smallest of the three bedrooms. This is gonna be perfect for our new baby's nursery. Right now we have Maddie's pack and play set up in here cause there's curtains we can draw shut but it's not terribly small. I think it's 10 feet by 11 feet, um, a kid's bedroom or an office space. And then once again, you can see the wood floors that continue in here. They definitely need to be refinished and sanded and then like stained and all of that stuff again. And we need to be painting the walls and trim and all that stuff, but good, good bones, a good room to start with. So that was this bedroom. Moving on to our second bedroom. This will become Madeline's bedroom. Right now we have my setup for Christian and I to sleep in here just for reasons we'll explain shortly. But this is a larger room. I think it's like 12 feet by 11 feet. It's a little bit bigger, brighter, more windows, closet situation over here. You can definitely tell a lot of this home was like built by the previous owners. Like a lot of the uh, things are like cinder blocks and wood planks and like DIY shelves in the closet. So it's a fun touch, but something that we definitely wanna change. Update, clean, refresh. But this is second bedroom, ultimately going to be Maddie's room. Another thing we wanna do someday is to put in larger windows. We'd like to replace, I don't know if we want it to be this wide, but like definitely larger floor to ceiling situation windows. The more windows, the better in our opinion. So that is the end of this hallway and we're moving over into the primary bedroom. And it is very, very blue in here. The carpets are blue, the walls are blue, doors are blue, inside all the closets is blue. So we have a whole wall of closets. We have three sliding doors and then this closet door opens up. So all of that is closet. You can see a little sneak peek at the gorgeous wood floors that are in this room. And the reason we have not put our little bedroom set up in this room is because we hope to rip these carpets up tonight. They look to be in good shape and uh, we're excited to 
remove old stained blue carpet, and then of course paint this room. Out the back, you can see Christian and Maddie <laughs> having a blast. It's very hot outside, so they're being good sports while I film. And this bedroom overall is like 16 feet by like 14 feet, really, really big, except literally the smallest bathroom I've ever seen. This door is even teeny tiny. It's like, I don't know, three feet wide maybe. And uh, once again, we have a lovely carpeted bathroom, a toilet, a sink, a little shower. I can like barely fit in this walkway and I am, I'm a smaller human. I'm not very large and uh, I barely fit in here. So we're going to have to get creative with making this bigger. We don't plan on keeping this floor plan for the house. We would love to see if we can cut into some of the bedroom space over there to put another like kids bathroom over there. And then that hall bath that I showed you originally is right behind this wall. It backs up to our master bath. And we would love to open both of those spaces up, close off the wall of the hallway and have that whole thing be like a more master bath situation. We need to think about that. We need to talk to plumbers permits, all of that fun stuff, but that's what we ultimately want to do. So a nice luxurious primary bath and then move our hall closet that is behind this wall right now to the other side of the hallway. So cut into space of both of the bedrooms. Yeah, they're already small to begin with, but we think a normal size master bath will be more beneficial than having the bedrooms be like as big as they are right now. We'll see if that actually works out. That's the plan as of today. And the last space to show you in the house is down to the finished basement. I will say upstairs in the house is about 1,250 square feet and the downstairs basement adds 500 square feet to that. So we're looking at about 1,800 square feet total. So going down the stairs, you come into more of like a bonus game room. This fireplace we believe is stacked directly beneath the upstairs one. Um, so we don't know what to do with this either. We would like to eliminate it. We don't know if that's a huge structural issue or not. We love to have a fireplace. We love its original. It's just that the house is already small to begin with and all of these big chunky things right in the middle of everything make it really hard to add more light, open it up, modernize the house a little bit. So that's what that rethinking project would be even if we could just start to cut down on the paneling if we could like remove the paneling from here over and then on the other side over just so it's a smaller footprint of a fireplace we would love to do that but this is the entire bonus room it overlooks the backyard that is the door to our garage we have hookups for washer and dryer here this is under the stairs so it's slanted we'll see if we keep the washer and dryer here there's also a little funky closet right here it's very interesting how this was built down here and uh this is the <laughs> another gross bathroom the floors are linoleum tiles and they're missing chunks and we just want to restart and like hit refresh on this bathroom our short-term plan includes flipping that bathroom upstairs with the carpets the bigger one making that livable taking out the carpets painting the tub new toilet those kinds of things and then doing like almost a full remodel downstairs in this bathroom we need to repair some tiles that are cracking here like the the grout or the caulking is wrong new faucets paint this improve this little floor plan of a shower then we're going we want to lay down um clip in, or lpd flooring down here just to make this clean and fresh a new vanity, a new mirror, a new light, a new toilet. It's a tight, awkward space, and we don't know if we can really move around everything in here. So we definitely wanna just like refresh it, give it a little remodel. And coming out of that bathroom is the downstairs extra bedroom. We call this the dungeon. Um, there's no AC down here, so we would like to run HVAC eventually. Um, we have tile ceilings, we wanna change that. This dark flooring, the dark paneling. I think you can catch on that we want to change a lot of things in this house. Little by little, hopefully we'll get there. Oh gosh, this is very dark. But this is like a creepy downstairs dungeon. Whenever Christian is not here, you will not catch me downstairs in the basement. Then the this bedroom leads back out to this big room with a fireplace. We also have a lovely, uh, what's this called? Fenced in? Caged in? Screened in porch. Words. We got two ceiling fans, a little table, and then our backyard. And that is our house tour. Um, 1,800 square feet, adorable, in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're overwhelmed by the amount of work we have to do right now. Like, that is an understatement. I have personally zero buyer's remorse, though. I know that's really common with first-time homeowners, but I have 
zero remorse. I think this house is going to be great. It's a lot of work. I'm not super excited about living in it until we can do some things like making the floor feel clean, painting the walls, kind of just getting the grime off of the house a little bit. But when, once we do that and then we get Bucky in here, our dog and that kind of stuff, and Christian moves in permanently and we get our furniture, I'm sure I'll feel much more settled here. And it's a great place to be. It's a great location. We are so excited to be here and uh, stay tuned for all of these renovations, remodels. I'm sure nothing is going to go according to plan as I just explained in this video. Like none of the remodels we want to do will be possible or happen, but I'll bring you along on the entire journey. We are living in this house while we work on it. So it's going to be extra, extra interesting, but thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.